Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Luke Beller. So the moment we've all been waiting for. It's been months and months since that sad, sad NFC Championship day. We've been waiting, wondering, and just curious as to who the Packers are going to pick. Last year was Jordan Love. This year we're thinking, who the heck is going to be? And now we know cornerback Eric Stokes from Georgia. The Packers do decide to come in and draft a cornerback. And I think lots of people, uh, lots of Packers fans seem to think that cornerback was a position to go with just because we saw... Um, how outside of Jair Alexander, as you can see, I'm rocking Jair's jersey right now. Outside of Jair, um, our cornerbacks have had some trouble. Kevin King had trouble, definitely exposed during that NFC Championship game. We are bringing back Shannon Sullivan, bringing back both of those guys as well. Um, but personally, I thought we just needed to bring in another guy outside of Jair to really come in there and bolster this defensive unit. We know the offense is stacked. Of course, there's been some uh, some things going on today with Aaron Rodgers, which definitely um, I didn't see coming. Maybe you didn't see coming as well. And so now we do know that the Packers have come in and drafted Eric Stokes. Um, if we take a look at a little bit of information about this guy, um, PFS, sort of their description on him, they actually have him ranked as a 72nd overall guy um, on their board. Um, they have him as, they say, fourth round. That's what that was, that, that was their projection for him, but obviously the Packers saw something much, much different than them. And this guy with some pros for him, he plays the catch point down the field very well, locates hands and rakes through well-versed and press coverage, 400 such snaps the past two years, takes the speed box, wasn't an issue on tape, barely tested in stingy 2020, allowed 0.51 yards per coverage snap. And if we take a look at 2020, pretty crazy stat for him in college, he allowed a 43.6 pass rating. So it seems that the Packers um, I found the guy they like. Obviously, they're coming in here the first round and drafting him. Um, there was debate as to whether it would be a tackle, whether it would be a cornerback, receiver. We honestly had no idea, especially today with the Aaron Rodgers news coming out. I was almost wondering. I think other people were also wondering, you know, are they just going to come in, draft a receiver, make Rodgers happy? Obviously, that's not the case. And so, obviously, the, the Aaron Rodgers situation is an entirely different situation than this. Um, but I was wondering if they would come in and draft a wide receiver. Obviously, they didn't come in here. The Packers could have picked Elijah Moore. He was still on the board um, at this pick. The Ravens had just picked Rashad Bateman. And so, those guys, are, Bateman was off the board. Elijah Moore was still here. But the Packers come in. Um, they, pick, they pick this guy over a lot of different cornerbacks. They pick him over Asante Samuel Jr. Of course, Caleb Farley was already gone. Greg Newsom. J.C. Horn and uh, Patrick Sheridan. All those cornerbacks were gone. But the Packers do come in and bolster this defensive unit with the cornerback, which personally, that was my like personal preference. That's what I wanted them to do. I wasn't sure if they actually were going to do it. So hopefully he can come in here. Now we got Jair Alexander. Jair Alexander, one of the best cornerbacks, probably the best cornerback in the NFL. And now we also have Eric Stokes. So hopefully he can come in and this Packers defensive unit can just be you know much better in 2021. Um, hopefully Rodgers makes his way back. I'm if I had to guess, I would say he would, but honestly, um, you never know what's going to happen. I didn't expect today to happen with Rodgers, so um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this team, but we do know this defense is going to be much better, or I personally think it's going to be much better in 2021. Um, hopefully adding a stud, um, you know, first-round cornerback will be, um, you know, beneficial for this team coming into 2021, but let me know your thoughts on this pick. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Do you wish we had picked someone else? Um, also, if you guys haven't subscribed, I put out Packers news analysis almost every single day, and I'll be covering the rest of the draft on this channel as well. But um, that's going to be all for today. It's finally here. It's finally over. We finally know what the Packers did in the first round of the NFL draft. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.